hooking and unhooking quick disconnects or quick couplings on hydraulic lines. Now this is, we're, we're going to attempt to make what can be a very tedious and difficult task a little bit easier. Okay, so we're at the rear of the wing now. We're going to be looking at unhooking the rear lift cylinder and the extend cylinder. Now, this machine was just running. I just shut it off and there's a couple of tri uh, tricks that you can perform with the joystick that should allow for you to break off the hoses easier than if you didn't. Now, the first thing that I did was when I set the wing down level on the ground, I made sure to hit the float button before I shut the machine off. Now what that did was equalize the pressure in both of these lines for the rear lift cylinder. Now I also I charged the uh, extend out cylinder by pressing the extend button. Now what this did was pressurize the barrel end of the extend cylinder which is a much lower pressure than the rod end of that cylinder. So what I'm looking at here should be some relatively low pressure quick disconnects that I should be able to uncouple relatively easy. So we'll try them. Now that one came off no problem because this one, this line was exposed to tank pressure before I shut off the machine. Now this line should come off fairly easy as well because this line was exposed to the lower extent pressure of about a thousand pounds. Now, this rear lift cylinder, I would expect to come off a little bit harder, which it still comes off, no problem. And there you have, all of your hoses are disconnected from the rear lift of your wing. So now we're going to look at putting your hoses back on after the wing has been off the machine. Now the first thing that you'll notice when you go to a couple of hoses back on is that one hose is a male end and one hose is a female end. Now we do this so that they, can't, they can only be put back on in the correct orientation so that you don't end up with a function that works backwards from the way it used to. And another feature of this is in the event that once one hose has a lot of residual pressure in it, you can plug these together and distribute that over both hoses and hopefully relieve your pressure enough to where you'd be able to connect them. Now I'm going to put these on, but I'm really not expecting there to be any resistance in it since, since this this uh, wing never actually came off of the machine today. And the quick disconnects do go on very easily. Now I would expect that if your wing has been sitting outside in the cold, and that the oil has had a chance to cool itself down or heat up, that there may be some residual pressure built up in these lines, in which case you can plug them together and relieve it. And those all went right back together, as I would expect. So now I'm at the front of the machine, and I'm going to disconnect the plow harness hoses. So these, these are for the front posts of the machine, and we've just set the plow and wing down. Um, now, the couple of tricks involved in, uh, in disconnecting these hoses are when you're setting down the uh, front post of your, of your wing assembly, ensure that you've functioned the joystick with the front post down function. Now what this has done is it's exposed the barrel side of the front post cylinder, the bottom side of the cylinder, to the tank pressure of the machine. So I would expect that this hose has no pressure in it and I should be able to just disconnect it freely. Now, if I go to disconnect this hose, it, it still has pressure on it. In order to relieve this hose, 
what we'll have to do is start the machine and function the front post up, which will then charge this line which we just disconnected and expose this line to tank pressure, at which point we'll be able to disconnect it. So now I'm back at my front post of the loader and uh, I've still got my one hose connected, but I've just run the machine and I function the front post up function which would have charged this line, which is now disconnected, so the front post wouldn't have gone anywhere. But it would have exposed my, uh, the rod end of the front post cylinder to a tank pressure. So I'd expect that this will come right off. And now I've got my plow harness completely disconnected from the machine. So now I'm back at the front of the machine that I'm going to reconnect my front post hoses. Now, the order that you reconnect these would be in the uh, opposite order of uh, the way you took them off. Because I would expect that my, uh, the rod side of the uh, front post cylinder would be exposed to tank pressure right now. And that the barrel side would be charged still. So I'm going to take my hoses, and again you'll notice that the fittings are opposite so that you can only get them on one way. Now if you if you had your, your plow harness or uh, you know entire plow gear sitting for any amount of time, you may notice that there's some residual pressure in inside this, uh, this circuit, at which point you can plug both of these together and equalize it and hopefully dissipate it enough so that you can connect them to the front of the uh, loader. So the first one I'm gonna have a look at connecting would be the rod side of the uh, of the front post, which was at tank pressure and went on very easily. Now you may find that if that you can connect both of these without any issue whatsoever. Now. If there's any amount of pressure on this side of the uh, of the circuit, I would expect that this will be next to impossible to connect right now. If, if you find yourself in this situation, what I would do is start the machine very, very briefly and function the front post down on the joystick, which should energize this line. But since this one is dead-ended and the cylinder won't be going anywhere, your wing won't move, but you've exposed this line to tank pressure. So now it should be able to connect very easily. So now that we've, now that we've functioned the machine, function the front post down, I should be able to connect this because I would expect that it doesn't have any, any pressure on it, which it doesn't. So now I'm all, all hooked up on the front of the machine and ready to go.